Greetings, welcome to another EV Power demo video. I'm Rod and this is Jamie. Yeah. And one of the interesting things, uh, one, one of the nice things about um, working in a research and development based business is we get to test out interesting customer projects where the customer specifies all the gear. Uh, and this is one such pro project. So Jamie's going to help me demo, talk you through it. So what's going on here, Rod? This, this is a battery pack for... So this is our 350-volt um, battery pack. All um, switched off, of course. This is all switched off. This is ours. Um, that's, that's just for demonstration purposes, so that we've got a power source for our motor. This has got your new BMS on. This has got the new Batman BMS that we're working on. It's so tight. <coughs> and... So it all comes out through dodgy wiring to... Um, um, kind of a distribution box. How uh, many volts? Uh, uh, we've got about 380 volt at the moment. Um, and part of the project is uh, this installation and monitoring unit. So, that's, uh, so this is a safety thing where it actually tests all the insulation to check that everything's up to scratch. If, if the insulation, either the positive or the negative, makes it to ground at any point along this long length of cable, you know, we've got about 30 metres of cable here. <coughs> it's going to throw an error and trip out the power source. So is that a sort of a fancy RCD really? <coughs> it's kind of like an RCD, yeah. a residual current device, except it's more sophisticated. Yeah. So it's actually kind of proactively testing the insulation continuously yeah. of the system um, and it will just throw an error and save somebody's life if there's a problem. So this is going to be running at what voltage ultimately? <coughs> so at the moment we've got it running about 380. Eventually it's going to be running at 720 volt right. DC. Um, and this is for a highly top secret project that we want to to divulge. <coughs> um, so we've got our power supply plugged in here. So this is um, F-Mod plug. And it goes DC all the way through the thing up to our um, <coughs> we call it engine control unit. What, what it really is is a pre-charge control unit here. So um, this does all the, all the pre-charging. We've got a um, Sevcon Borg Warner size 10 inverter here. So and it's a permanent magnet AC motor. <coughs> this is a super duper motor. It's capable peak, I think, of about 300 kilowatts, 700 volts. So for the layman, how does that compare to say an electric vehicle motor? Uh, it's well these these motors are used in electric vehicle. Yeah, I think I think they might even be used in Formula One, but don't quote me on that. Yeah. <coughs> uh, they're extremely powerful, so it's actually much more powerful than the average electric vehicle, like your Renault Zoe, you know, might be sixty to eighty kilowatts, something like that. So this is like it's three times that. Yeah. So <coughs> An important aspect of running um, such an inverter, a size 10 inverter, is you've got to pre-charge the capacitor in it. So that's what this unit does here, and it does some safety checks as well. So that does all the pre-charging and monitoring of the system. So and that's just because you can't close a contactor with a high current across it or jump? If you close a contactor onto an inverter like that, you'll close it once and it'll weld shut. Yeah. You know, it'll, it'll, the contacts will physically weld together and you'll never be able to open it again. The whole system will continue to be at high voltage when you turn it off, and there's there's an obvious safety risk there. This also does it like a post discharge as well. The reverse of that. So it does the reverse of pre charge when you turn it off. It'll actually discharge the capacitors. Yeah. <coughs> so why the computer, what, are you, what are you programming that? What are you doing there with the computer? <coughs> oh, well, the computer is actually um, just um, hooked into the inverter by the canvas. So it's got the um, the um, DVT manual, the, the proprietary software for Paul Warner, Sircon. And I'll demonstrate that in a mo. We'll go we'll go through the startup sequence, shall we? And um, see if we can get it running. So I've got a noisy power supply, 24 volt power supply running in the background, just to power up the logic. <coughs> and I think the first thing we do is turn on our Installation monitoring unit, and then we can power up our main power. 
And so far, no smoke and flames. Very good. <coughs> now we power up our ECU. So and you can see it. straight away that it's, it's actually starting, the, the controllers, start, the inverter starting to talk. So it's starting to talk on the canvas and send through messages. <coughs> well, so everything's good. As well. But now we've just got our yeah, the dashboard. So we've got a little dashboard here. And, you know, I don't know if you can get a, get a close up on that and see what's happening. It's got a bit of an error there at the moment. That's because we haven't started yet. So what we've got to do to start up is turn the key on. And that'll start pre-charging sequence. And then it'll go click, which it did. And our, our, our water goes away. <coughs> so now we just pop it into forward. Give it a bit of throttle, I suppose. Sounds kind of noisy, but the, this this test rig actually acts like a guitar body, <coughs> so it's actually quite a quiet motor. And anything else? Well, that's that. That's that's just the beginning of our of our demonstration project. The next part is to take it to site and get it actually cranking up. So but we've got the um, if you want to come in and get a bit of a close up of the software here. So this is just showing the CAN bus happening and we can actually go in and change a bunch of parameters in there. <coughs> Get fold information. There is no fold information. That's good. Always good. Um, and then we can do a bunch of things. We can change a bunch of things in the motor parameters and <coughs> all sorts of things that are very complicated that I only know some of. <laughs> so, Anything else we need to talk about? It's pretty good, right? I think. Pretty impressive. All right. Thank you. Thank you.